Hogwarts Legacy. We are back live. First, I think we need to go to Hogsmeade and sell some clothes. Or, er, yeah, Hogsmeade. And I gotta open up one of these flue flames because that's where I want to. I want to go here, but the only one that's open is this one and the one over there. So let's do that. Travel. Flu flame. There's a yak over here. Protega. Trim that bush. I don't think I've ever gone this way. It's over here. Ooh, money. Ten. That right now. I keep holding my wand up in the air like a goon. Hello, kitty cat. Perfect. What's going on, boss? Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty yeah. to choose from here, so take your time. So if I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Spectacles. Oh, must be the Harry Potter. Okay, that has a up. That has a down. Down. Legendary resplendent robe. That's up. And okay, so let's go in real quick. I suspect quick. you have a sharp eye for fashion. No. no. Take go by whenever. Stop hitting Protego, dude. Nothing new there. Nothing there. Hey, do I have any one handles? I do have a one handle. Uh, no. That's not horrible. Uh, no one handle for me, thank you. I'm going to go in the hat section, neckwear. You have cool neckwear. That one's up. That's up, that's up. Yikes! Well, we're not doing it for the fashion, right? Oh, we just did this, didn't I? And that's, and I think we're done. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. All right, that's done. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Hmm. Just got myself some gloves so I can go and sell those. Rebellion. Does he spot me? <laughs> Ooh, five hundred. That's nice. Oh. This guy doesn't talk. I can't get to this yet. What you making, dude? Revelios. Yeah. Sneakoscope. Sneakoscope. Out we go. Can I get over this wall? Nope, I guess not. There is a way to get there, though. Hold on. Mm. 
<laughs> Violated. Our children Rebellion. are down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost the heroes around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought you could have got her a lot. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. <sighs> Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Nope. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. <laughs> That's funny. That's not funny. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Got it. Revelio. Nothing down there? Okay. Hey, buddy. Cat. Revelio. Yeah, there's something right there. Is that in the building or outside the building? Looks like it's outside. Mm. Really? Wow. Another 500. I made 1,500 coins there. Canuts? Canutes? Whatever they're called. Another bag, 13. Give me a good amount of money. Alright, let's go. Hello. Yoink! Alright, let's do uh, the rat. Uh, map. What's our quest? Alright, we gotta do that. But I also had to unlock another <laughs> thing, didn't I? Hello. Oh, wait, that's the music guy, right? I like to donate the music guy. You're welcome. Right now he's just got this, but if you give him money, he can upgrade. We'll be back. Rebellion! Alright. There's a ghost. That's cool. Yeah, I gotta talk to him early. had no snack, but not right now. Let me do a little exploration here. Revelio. Hog speed, so I can get there. Hogwarts map. Great Hall. Boathouse, Great Hall. I can't apparate there. Arg. What's the closest one I can do? Guess I'll go there. Let's go find nearly headless Nick who wants to join the headless hunt. Because of course he does. Hello. Another page. Accio field guard. You okay, kitty?
and they catch there. There's nearly headless Nick. Hold on before uh, I talk you to there. Uh, yes, you, Revelio. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Yes, we will definitely do that. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Port. At your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Hmm. Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. A little bit of just... This may be a leap, hovers. but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take Rebellion. you to, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. What kind of favor, dude? Hmm. I know what small the favor, favor is. Small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I should Rebellion. explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. What could they want? Delicious food and what famine? Only makes root. The house elf I'm supposed to talk to. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. This is it. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Mm. Sounds lovely, but... What I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. To meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's mm. regards. Booze. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Oop, I broke something. Revelio. Doing work, man. Get to work. Oh, chop that stick.
feel like there's a flu flame here, but I can't see it, huh? Oh, well. Hello, Gibda. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. <laughs> Pinky. I wish she could hang out with the house elves a little more. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless what activities? Kind of activities can uh, you yes, partake in? Uh, you'll <laughs> see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Hmm. Takes a while away the afterlife. Yeah, the, you're gonna find the head, right? Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Poor they Nick, he's been you. trying oh, to join these good guys fun. for so long. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. <laughs> what I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. <laughs> stinky, stinky meat. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for... Bringing this putrescent gift home. Stinky. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. You're so mean to him. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze in my hair. Revelio. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, I here. Black leather gloves. Who will 
be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Sure. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cut! <laughs> Whatever you say, Dumfrey. I'm not trying to find this one. Why did I come back? Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with my... Uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Hmm. Almost there.
Let's see if it'll show up for me yet. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, it must be. All right, let's start. Oh wait, it's locked. Hold on. What do I have to do to get into it? I need to learn the disarming charm. Okay, so let's go to Hogwarts and. Uh, quests. Okay, so I can't do Jackdaw's Rest yet. Okay, so that's the one I need. Attend the Defense Dark Arts class during the day. And we should be about ready. We're not ready yet? It's got the time. There it is. Class time. Super cool. What else I have to do in class? I hope you were able to take care of Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Right, so let's get rid of... Now I can keep that. Um, which one's the disarming charm? This one? Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life once. All right, what do we have quest-wise? Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Go so far above, we're not doing. Cross ones around three, talk to Lucan. Or Jack Tom's rest. Let's do Ghost of Crossed Ones real fast. Do Cross Wands and the other one real fast because that's a little more uh, Experience we need. It's good to have more experience. Especially where we're going. Since I actually know where I'm going. Hello, where are you? No, oh, no, never mind. I thought it was something. Something else, never mind. It's just a lamp. Chandelier. I don't know. Or rain. Cross ones. There we go. He's a champion coming through. All right, who should I take on? Let me do the training dummy Hello, first. Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yes. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accurate. Incendium. Nebulous. 
Nice one. Nicely done. Down it goes. Next. Is that a fireball? Wait. Oh, I cast Expelliarmus instead of Expelliarmus. How am I doing this wrong? There we go. I don't know how I managed to screw that up twice. Where'd he go? Oh, no. That's what I'm doing. I'm hitting the button too fast. Now I did that right. No, damn it. Too button happy. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. <laughs> Plus, you'll be even more formidable in Crossed Ones. Other jewelers had better beware. <laughs> Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yes. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? No. I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. Did you see something? Do I have any quests that need any? No? I think I've done everything. All right, cool. We can Let's make this a real on. victory. One, two, That's three, four. Let's do this. All right, two in a minute. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! Gonna win. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. What is it? Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Hmm. You can't be beat, can you? Yes, Shame I can. Over. I was just getting started. No, you weren't. All right, what am I doing?
Jack da. Jack da. Urban forest this away. Watch out for something. leaping those dual caps. Sorry, I just said jumping. Chickens. Those aren't chickens though. Pheasant? I don't know what they are. They're not traditional chickens that I'm aware of. Some sort of hen. Bunch of uh, these guys down here. See them? Incendio. Let's not fight. Squirrel. Let's go find Jackdaw. A bunch of bad animals around here. Well, I almost torched a deer. Oop, money. Two down. Oh, that trip. Revelio. Here we go. And I have to wait until it's Here darker? As good as my word. Hey, Jackdaw. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can. But I fear I may remain a tad find it, say, intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? He's a bit of a dirtbag, isn't he? Alright, dude, let's go. Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, Pens. and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. Dear. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is Rebellion. fortunately coming back to me. I hear all sorts of noise. I never noticed these before when I didn't have headphones on <laughs> yes. and hearing them now. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? You're such an idiot. Nothing to anything. do now but keep going. This is why he died. Keep collecting things where you can collect them. Danger. Waterfall. The waterfall? For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Or deer. Accio. Can't Accio the deer. Yeah, okay. This is the, uh... Something scene. oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. This is where uh, Sirius Black comes under attack by the Dementors, I believe. I believe that's what it's meant to be, anyway. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. And this is where I'm going to get jumped. So let's take care of business here. Start going over here, and I'm gonna get jumped by goblins. But I'm gonna take all those goblins and dump. There they are. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But <laughs> we're done. Losers. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. It's not technically I mean I mean he did die in there, but it's not his tomb. I wonder how big this place is. Pretty big, dude. 
Bunch of spiders. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. Looking for any treasure I can find. I wonder if any of my spells will help me with this. Yep. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> or waves or something. Fang. Do I go down there or do I go over here? There's eggs there. And a chest. Alright, let's get through this. I'm not gonna touch those. Stupid! <laughs> Okay, get in. Can I beat them? Incendio. Incendio. Stupid. Incendio. Stupid. Big treasure chest. Two-tone gloves, baby. Revelio. Alright, let's get out of here. So can I. Rebellion. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Rebellion. here somewhere. Rebellion. What am I missing? I want 
wonder if I can move that platform somehow. I can, but I'm not going to. I don't need the stuff in there as much as I need the stuff out here. Rebellion. Ah, I see it. I see it. Just need a little uh, sideways point. Another one. Coming up on Jack Dove's dead body. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I don't need to look. Why are you dead? Wait a minute, did I go the wrong way? No, I came through the door. I'm right. Yeah, it's the only way you can go. Came through the door. Nothing. Oop, something is here. Money. Nice. How did he miss all this? Spiders. Two dead spiders, which seems odd because I haven't been here. You know what? I'm not going in there. I don't care. Whatever it is, I don't need it. Plus, I think I've got a big fight coming up soon. It's a good thing Jack Dawson is full now. Could go that way, but I'm going to go with this. Digging spiders or digging spiders? Well, help myself to this. Should be coming up on the big spider fight soon. Something down here. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. Here's these guys. These can't be what the head of the jackdaw. Stupid one. Stupid one. There you go. 
just did the beer. Oh, you did dig me. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign. Revelio. There we go. This should lead me to Jackdaw's body, right here. See it? be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Mm hmm Hello, gentlemen. Incendio! Counter. enough for another special attack. Blah, 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 That's some nothing. What's up with this? I see this before. We've got to add another restricted section. Yep. Let's do this. Where am I? Oh no. The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? So the room floods, but it automatically protects you. 
Maybe if I wasn't, maybe if I was jacked up, I would have drowned. Just because I can see ancient magic, I'm okay. I don't know. Never understood. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. But nope. That's the only thing I can think of. What is Let me this keep place? Anybody else out. Here we are. Ah, uh, this is the map room. Still tasty though. The map room with the old professors. Rackham, uh, fake Dumbledore. Can it be? <laughs> Rackham, um, Neem, Fitzgerald, whatever the other guy's name is, and the other guy. Pitar? But uh, I don't remember. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic, Gus. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't the have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. Yeah, somebody just started I'll watching the book I'm right done. away. <laughs> Good. Andrew, is we that shall you? <laughs> speak again once the book is in place. Oh, I can do talents now. So let's do um, Gryffindor in the graveyard. Hold on, spells. I want to actually. Can I up my Incendio mastery? Yeah. I like Incendio to get a little more powerful for me. Those are all locked right now, so we'll worry about that one. Dark Arts. What else we got? Need that, that's a good one to have. Good to have. Don't care about that. That's good to have. And stealth. Stealth I need. Alright, we'll do that for now. Alright, I gotta exit the map chamber and this should bring me out to Hogwarts. If I remember correctly. Yes, I know, meow. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? The book is important. Rebellion. Yeah, there's something here. Shoot. That's one of those. I can see the things. Can't see me now. Oh. Mm. Oh, that 500 coins. That's amazing. Rebellion. Okay, Incendio. Okay, cool. I'm 
improved incendio helped. Thank you. Wish I'd had it with those spiders, but that's okay. There'll be more spiders. There's always more spiders. Rebellion. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Where to, buddy? That's locked. Can't get in there. That's locked. Evidence Rebellion. I'm done with it. Yeah, perfect. Sleeping dragon. To learn Oops. the pulsar. Vanishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. I hear a ghost yelling, and there is a thing right here. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Rebellion. Where am I going? Oh, here, I guess. There's another thing up there. Ah, shoot, I thought it was closer. Door. Hello. I have no idea where it is. Hi. Revelio. Who are you? Oh, I think that's Bins. Bins? Professor Bins? Let's figure out where we're going. Which one is this? Flying class. Yeah, we can do the flying class real quick. Show me where I'm going. Ghost. Yeah, something over here. Rebellion. Three sisters' bells. Something right here too. This is for the flattened armor. Oh, that's right, you got pounded by a troll, uh, Sir Skagglethorpe the Heedless. Oh, that's sick, sorry. Revelio. Wooden cat. Glass. Oop. No, I didn't run into the pond. Can I get out the front door? Open the gate. Dog machine. Wait, that is not the way to the flying class. That's the way to Hogsmeade. I'm not going to Hogsmeade. I'm going to flying class right here. You stink. Okay, open the gate again. Open the gate. Adventure, are we? Yes, I'm always on an adventure. Here's flying class. Okay, gotta wait for it to start. Grab a broom, and we shall get started. <clears throat> Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This idea, some of you have forgotten. 
diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. There isn't a seat. It's a broom. Oh. It's a stick. <laughs> Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. That is a fantastic outfit up. I have on. Classy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I do love broom flying. I think that's a meat right and there. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. All right. Go Good. through the, fat, go through now, the thing. Now, for your first lesson, flew. Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do oh, this take take care. Getting used to. The brooms are school Go property. Ah, I want them returned in I one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, for us too. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yes, we shall. Let's ride. It's a good way to get the view of Hogwarts. Uh, this Out next about. set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? That guy? I guess not because he's in front uh, of me now. The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Me too. I think they really need to let you experience this game from your one on. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Squid. Gorgeous out here, huh? Good. I've got this. I do have this. Oh, well done! Have a moment? Yes, troublesome boy. I <clears throat> say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's the like famous it. bridge. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Not yet. And the hippogriff coming, That's right? That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? 
flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. I will not let me fly fast. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. And where have you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. <laughs> As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> now, if only I could play Quidditch. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a Ooh, thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <laughs> All right, let's call it a day. That was a nice long video to get done, and I will talk to you guys real soon.